Hello, hello, my lovely Leos. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Leos, we have the shaman, the bridge, the ring, and the nectar. And I just kind of feel like there's this idea of having to let go of a sense of direction. Because whatever your sense of direction is or was that, or that you're letting go of, like it's... <laughs> The ring is the idea of never ending and never beginning, right? You're committed to something. But if you're committed to something, sometimes you can become singularly focused on the way in which you are able to accomplish that thing. Um, and so I feel like the idea here is that you're going to be I, shifting direction to achieve your goal of like what it is that you've been committed to accomplishing, right? I don't know you guys there are violent things happening in my mind right now and I don't want to say any of them out loud <laughs> because this feels there there's a sense of competitiveness here the devil <laughs> the ace of pentacles the ace of wands and the nine of cups um No, because it could be that you're dealing with somebody. I mean, like, yes, Leo, that's something that we struggle with for sure. But like us and every other fixed sign. So whatever, you know, <laughs> like, we're not the only ones who deal with it. Um, but the devil, I mean, the devil is the idea of manipulation. The devil is the idea of control. And I just kind of feel like this, like somebody who, who's going to tell you how you have, like the direction you have to go or the, like the, the way in which you need to do it and how you like, and who you need to be and who you need to talk to and how you need to behave and why you need to do that. And da, 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 da. And, and it's just like, I don't know, like if you ever dealt with the communities that are just very singularly minded, you know, like a, like a hive mind, um, you know, you find it a lot of, in churches, you find it a lot in various communities who, you know, think that they've found the answer. Um, you know, and it's just kind of like, they found out like a, like a, a piece of an answer, right? Because there are, there are so many, like the universe is infinite. And you think there's one, one answer, you know what I mean? But also we live in a very colonized world. And so I think that people are just like of the mentality that like one way is the only way. Um, you know, but when you're dealing with people in that mentality, um, and you don't operate in that one way, it, like it it can cause a point of conflict. Um, and I kind of just feel like there's been a point of conflict in this like one way mentality, whether you're the one who's like, this is the only way it can be, or you're dealing with people who are like, this is the only way it can be. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just really, like, okay, well then I'm going to do it my way over here. Bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because there's just this idea of like letting go, releasing it, releasing control, releasing control, the need to go in, a, in, in that direction. Um, so that you can really start to to do the things that you promised yourself you were going to do anyways. And I feel like there's a new opportunity for you to do that. Um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, new communities, new opportunities. Um, you know, it, and I feel like it's something that like you promised yourself that you were going to do and you were trying to accomplish it in like in one way. And it wasn't working and it wasn't working because it wasn't the right way. It wasn't that your goal was wrong. It wasn't that what you were doing was wrong. It's like you went about it in the wrong way. You took the wrong, you took a wrong turn, <laughs> you know? Um, and, and you went down the wrong way and you ended up uh, off course. Um, and I don't think that being off course is always like the most detrimental thing in the world. I mean, life is an experience. And, and you're going to go down different paths and you're going to have different experiences. You're going to gain different perspectives. And I just kind of feel like, like maybe you held on to something. Maybe you went down, you know, like a path too long in the wrong direction, but you learned a lot along the way. Right. And, but you just have to let go of that, like that, that idea of control, um, or let go of the, the people who are, are, um, what? trying to control you. 
and and you know like you thinking okay well well if i listen to them they're going to get me in the direction that i want to go and it's like no those people are so misguided um temperance the two of swords and the three of pentacles well there's a decision being made um I mean, that, that I think you've, you've been working, um, on yourself. You've been attaining balance, um, so that you're not controlled because it's easy to control people who are constantly in a, in a whirlwind of anything. Um, you know, like, like whether they're in their head and they're like, ah, oh, whirlwind of the head or like whether they're in their, in their emotions are like, oh, whirlwind of emotions. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, if you're dealing with people who are just like, like fragile people, you know, um, it's, you can't build anything because anything that you build is going to break on the backs of the fragility of the minds, hearts, bodies, and souls of the people who are too fragile to like have the strength to accomplish anything truly. Um, and I feel like there has been an idea for my Leos because Leos, we are leaders. We are proud. We are stubborn. We are fixed. Um, you know, maybe you've had people who've been trying to like take you down this path of like, you need to go, you know, like let these people have a say and you need to listen to these people and you, 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 you and you being like, you know what? You need to get all the way the fuck away from me <laughs> and stop telling me what it is that I need to do because I've been working on myself and I've been doing all the things that I need to do. And I've, I'm, quite balanced in my decision making and, you know, discernment practicing and all of the other things and, and, um, you know, like goal orienting, because I just kind of feel like I never lost sight of what it was that I was committed to. I didn't get sidetracked, um, from my goal or maybe you did get sidetracked from your goal, but you're like, okay, well I got sidetracked from my goal because of all this stupidness, all this control, all these people holding on to some shit that like nobody wants to hold on to that let it go. You know, we're, we're committed to these things over here. Um, King of swords and the seven of pentacles. I mean, again, you know, there's just this idea that you have, like there's a decision and then, and a great deal of self work that is a, been going on for us Leos and I just kind of feel like there's like like I can make sound decisions because I'm very familiar with myself I have a very strong sense of identity and strong sense of self and that's not me being an egomaniac that's just me being capable of having you know like self-awareness and boundaries um you know and because of that because I you know like I have stayed committed to what it is that I want to do um, like my opportunities are presenting themselves to me. But first I had to let go of some idea that there was one way that I was going to do something. Silly. <laughs> okay. You gotta get creative with it, Leo. Well, yes, because Leo's are creativity. <laughs> The warrior. Whoa, the warrior is the idea of mind your battles. Um, mind your triggers. Who are you fighting and why? Um, but I kind of feel like, 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 and in conclusion, I'm not fighting you. I'm, I'm maintaining my balance. In conclusion, <laughs> I will be releasing all the things that I was holding on to that were doing nothing more than throwing my balance, throwing me out of balance. Um, but in spite of that, I made a decision to continue working on myself and, and, and focusing on what it is that I'm committed to and therefore, um, accomplishing my goals because yes. <laughs> all right, y'all. Um, this was a fun read. I love it. If you, this did resonate with you, please do give me a like, share and subscribe and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.